Sustainable, smart and integrated urban planning has become ever more critical as global populations move towards urban centres. In the Middle Eastern context, smart cities are very much gaining traction, but creating a future-proof master plan to design, build and retrofit the urban world remains a very big challenge. So, what actually is a smart city and what is the role of the private sector and the government in their development? I'm Jack Ball, senior reporter here at Construction Week, and joining me is Oscar Russo, deputy editor at Construction Week. So Oscar, what actually is a smart city? It gets a lot of traction and the name gets thrown around quite a bit, but what actually is a smart city? Well, you're absolutely right. We hear the term thrown around a lot and it's very difficult when you live in Dubai or the UAE to not become familiarised with smart cities. So essentially it's about building uh, a city with data and technology interwoven into the very fabric of the city. A connected city can help improve the effectiveness and the efficiency of the built world, making our lives more convenient. Now, Jack, we can already see elements of the smart city initiatives in Dubai, from driverless metro trains to uh, the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority employing five robots as staff. But the challenge really is, is not about smart cities, it's about creating a master plan that can be developed and evolve over time because the issue is technology is progressing at such a rapid pace that you need to have a master plan that can survive the ages. And of course, in that context, the government obviously has a, a quite a central role to play. Um, but what is, that, what is their role exactly? Well, that's absolutely right. And, you know, it's difficult to determine what the government's role should be. But what's absolutely clear is that the industry believes the government does have a role to play. Greg Kane, uh, the managing director of WSP, said the government needs to have a clear mandate for smart cities to accelerate them and move it along. And it can't all be left to kind of like laissez-faire economics. Now, ACOM's chief executive officer as well warned that... Uh, Master planning needs to kind of keep pace with the evolutionary nature of technology to ensure that master plans don't become obsolete by the rapid pace of technological change. We've heard the government's role in, in the development of smart cities, but what are contractors? What is their role and how are they equipped to build a future? Well, their role will, of course, Jack, be the physical implementation of the smart city. You talk civil contracting, civil engineering, and, you know, the manufacturing and the building of the smart cities. But I think what's really interesting and maybe concerning a little bit is that contractors will need to be looking over their shoulder because you've got the big tech firms like Google and Microsoft now circling that smart city space. Look at Toronto, for example. Google there is building a smart city from the ground up. And uh, Chris Seymour at uh, Construction Week's Leaders in UAE Summit in September warned that, um, you know, they're going to be looking over their shoulder. And he warned that actually with Google and Microsoft in that space, the main contractor for smart city schemes could end up being a subcontractor. So actually you're diminishing the role of the main contractor on site, which is a little bit concerning. So they're going to have to be looking over their shoulder and thinking about how they can work with the tech firms to ensure that they're not kind of like squeezed out of the market. Well, it, it sounds like obviously collaboration is key in, in that respect, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Very exciting times ahead. Um, Oscar, thank you so much for joining me. Um, you've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of email vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of fantastic places. To get your hands on one of these vouchers, it's very simple. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like a video and leave a comment and share it with all your friends. Winners will be contacted directly by the team here at Construction Week. And don't forget that we publish new episodes every Tuesday at 9am. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.